course, let it be. Um, uh, I really like actually uh, give me a feeling. Or got a got a feeling, and one after nine oh nine, and uh, two of us. Those are probably my top songs off that one. Now my number six spot is Chet Baker sings by Chet Baker, and um, I don't know really if this technically counts as an album, but um, like this is on Spotify as an album, so I just put it on here. But Chet Baker has got the smoothest voice that I've ever heard in my life. And this was, came out in 1956. And that's why I can't really remember how I found out about him. But he is like a trumpet player. A trumpetist. Um, but uh, he, he, on this album he sings. And he should have made like so much more singing albums because he's just got a great voice. It's a jazz album. Skips on this, you know, my funny Valentine. I've never been in love before. Um, uh, what else is there? Uh, I fall in love too easily, and those are like the top three. But um, all of them, absolutely amazing. I really, really recommend this one if you're looking for like a relaxing and more chill album. Stay. 
I was watching that and then I was looking up like rap songs um, to uh, like summer rap songs to listen to and uh, the, the favorite song off this album with Childish Campino was on it and I checked it out instantly fell in love and then I started listening to the rest of the album and I was just like wow because before that I was really like I didn't I didn't dive into music you know I just kind of listened to whatever was on the radio or whatever other people were listening to you know I didn't I wasn't really like a huge music guy I liked music but I I just wasn't into everything and this really just got me it sparked everything for me you know it got me into everything else you know after this album I started looking into more other rap artists underground rap artists and then from that I moved on to other genres and now I'm just like I I I want to like live music you know <laughs> but yeah I I could still listen to this whole album you know every single word to every single song you know um Cocoa Butter Kisses is probably his biggest hit um but my favorite song on that album is Pretty Hard it's Lost I love Lost I love Chainsmoker I love Push a Man <clears throat> I love Juice oh at each different point in my life, I would, I would like, say a different song of that album, but, um, I, it still holds up for me, you know, it's been years, and I can still listen to this whole album, so, the long-awaited number one pick, the number one album of ASMR, Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> 
three songs. Cloud had been away. Really great production and really great vocals, like I said, from Brent. And then my next one is one that I also don't know if it technically counts as an album, but it's the anthology by the Ink Spots. And um, I'm pretty sure this is just like a compilation of a bunch of songs that they
was the first J. Cole album I've ever listened to. And I really, really loved it. I remember listening to it just as it came out because I liked the cover. And uh, all the songs are amazing. I mean, Kevin's Heart is still one of my favorite songs. Uh, Kevin's Heart, Motives, um, KOD, of course. Just, I, though all those songs really grew on me. I mean, Brackets, um, the Kill Edward guy, am I, or the Cutoff, I think that's what his, the song was called, and his alter ego. And I just like the story of that too. And just a good message overall. You know, J. Cole's just a really smart dude. And my next pick is Eagles. The Eagles subtitled album. But, um, this is the one with uh, Take It Easy and Witchy Woman and Peace Fleets You Feeling. Now, all three of those songs are like my top, like definitely in my top 20 rock songs of all time. Um, even though I wouldn't really consider rock, it'd definitely be more soft rock. Uh, 
Most of it's most of their big hits on it, and 
say about Creedence Clearwater, but um, I'm sure you've heard a bunch of their songs. You know, they're pretty, they're, I wouldn't say they're underrated, but I feel like not enough people talk about them, given how many hits they've made, like Fortune and Sun, Down on the Bayou, or <laughs> I feel like I'm messing up song titles, but uh, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Just really <laughs> great discography, and Cosmo Factory is my favorite album from them. So the next album. Store. But yeah, um, my next one. 
i 